Though I live in Philadelphia, I have a daughter who went to Stanford and currently lives in Mountain View. So I have visited the Bay Area many times over the past 10 years. In San Francisco, I was used to some of the inconveniences of looking out for my personal safety. Over the years, I had angry homeless people screaming at me and wanting to fight. This trip was tame as only had to deal with the threat of danger, not actual danger. I went to Fisherman's Wharf and there was a policeman who asked me to put my cooler in a trunk so someone would not smash my window to steal it. It's the same in Philly, but in Philly it's just commonly understood. I abbreviated my visit to the wharf out of fear for my car. There was a lot of glass on the ground. All the break-ins happened in broad daylight I did not see many homeless people, or nor was I bothered. The wharf had people, and it had very few vacancies. The street performers were out. It seemed unaffected by the pandemic. Haight Ashbury was a little different. The area had some outdoor dining booths that were used for sleeping at night. There was a lot of burnout people trying to catch some shut eye. There was a lot of public art centered around the culture of my day in the 60s. The Black the Rat drawings caught my attention. I spent a lot of time in the area and there were a significantly higher number of vacancies. It looked like it had seen better days. By contrast, the Castro had some vacancies, but it was better maintained and the street people were a little less unkempt. Everyone was real nice to me, smiling and saying hi. I loved spending time in the Castro during my visit. This time it was a little hard to park because of the outdoor dining spaces and a festival of some sort. They had a good sculpture with a group of mannequins hanging from a pole. Down the highway a bit, I saw that Millbrae was building up the commuter rail station and they had some vacancies, but it was not that many. The town appeared to be relatively intact. They had a nice poster on walk-ins. San Mateo was very well maintained and had some great art. The outdoor dining was more established than anywhere I had seen. There were people on the street enjoying food and beverage establishments. There were more than a few vacancies, some in a row, which left the feeling of disinvestment. Palo Alto is a favorite place of mine as my daughter lived there for a decade, and I'm very familiar with the town. There were a lot of vacancies there. The high-priced real estate really took a hit. The outdoor dining scene in Palo Alto was a function of shutting down the street and letting people have free access to on University Boulevard. Many of my favorite businesses were shut down or out of business. I had hoped to eat at La Strada, but it did not make it through the shutdown. It was like a dagger in my heart. All of the theaters were closed because of the lockdown and many of the restaurants had a very well thought out dining regimen. The city of Palo Alto did a nice job reacting to the lockdown and there were still a lot of people on the streets. I saw a sign in the window of Palo Alto advertising buy spots with an attitude. Conversational computing devices that embrace particular communities' point of view, aka Twitter storm. Mountain View was interesting as it looked like they had a few redevelopment projects ready to go. They did have a lot of vacancies when you include the ones that were said to be facing demolition. They also had streets totally blocked off for outdoor dining. They seemed to have a good plan and it seemed a little more organized than the area in Palo Alto. They had areas which could be expanded for additional dining if deemed appropriate. They had archways to delineate the alleys and look to provide an inviting atmosphere to enter the alley. It was very nicely done. The barriers they used to block the street were heavy and they looked like they could not be easily moved which denoted their recognition of what it takes to keep restaurant trade viable. There were a lot of people on the street, about 50% Asian, about 50% Caucasian. Thank you for visiting my site, Last Days of Lockdown 2021. Over 80 videos showing conditions at the end of the 2021 lockdown, which I have chronicled for posterity.